Well, <laughs> we are back. Welcome to the duck call I'm tangled room. Tangled up. Here we go. Podcast room. Oh, Hang John's on. tangled up. He's over here we're, roping. We're oh, back. he's in the wire, boys. Too many wars over here. Too many oh. wars. All right, boys. Hey, I'm looking at something here, Stone. What's going on with the uh, cage over here? All right, before I explain that, I'm also looking at something. You and Philip are wearing the same shirt. Oh, well, yeah. Hey. Well, Philip's hey, going to wash it for hey, it. Hey, here's what you get out of that. <laughs> hey, here's what you get out of that. Great minds think alike. Yeah. Thank you, Sai. That's it, boys. Hey, Philip, you didn't call him and tell him to wear that shirt, did you? <laughs> yeah, no, we, didn't, no. we didn't get the call. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, nope. hey, I'll, I'll we tell you. We didn't know there was a uniform no, no, I'll today. tell you the reason I'm, I'm uh, wearing it. The only clean shirt? No, no. I got out of bed this morning. Okay. <laughs> he picked Look, it off off the No, no. I got out of bed. Hey, when he walked you know, I slept in this morning. Oh I got out of bed at 930, okay, because I was sitting there laying there coming night. I worked out yesterday, okay. I've started on a workout there, boys. Uh-oh. Yeah. With my QB. Okay. So, hey, I got up. What is that? Okay, got me a glass of tea. Explain to Goblin what what you're... A QB is a... a, It's like a bicycle. Okay, but it's a... You set it on the floor and you work out in your your recliner. Does it have handlebars? No. 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 Does it have wheels? You just Uh, pedal. No, and it goes from a setting of one, okay, the resistance one to eight. So I set mine halfway. No, he's got a chain off of it. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. (laughs) I'm on four. Okay, so look... I sit there for like 30 minutes, you know, getting ready. And we, I, I said, okay, how do I need to do this? I said, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do three 10-minute exercise, okay, you know, of pedaling the QB. And then while I'm waiting, relaxing, okay, I've got three-pound weights in each hand, and I do five repetitions, I mean, five different things with 30 reps. Oh, that's pretty good. Si. Okay. Did you Look, put him yeah. on that stone? No, 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 well, no, no. He's the one that got me on it. Okay, because I said, "Well, I need to work out, get rid of this belly." Okay, he's self. I'm, I'm going to do this. <laughs> and then, okay, and I'm also eating oatmeal for breakfast. There we go. Okay, good for your cholesterol. Heart yeah. healthy. Hell, good healthy. for your okay. cholesterol. So you know, because Stone now he gets up at five a.m. Five. and does cardiac. Cardio. 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 Oh, cardiac. 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 Christine, turn that fan on. Turn it over here. I said, I done worked up a sweat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, my T-shirt, the one I had, I don't even remember what it was. Oh, yeah. Uh, precision. Your, yeah, your, your Texas Precision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my yeah. Texas Precision. Wearing, 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 hey, this thing was soaking wet, so yeah. I took it off, okay, and put some deodorant on and then put mm. me on well, the T-shirt. Well, I'm glad you did that. Well, that's the reason I got the duck call room T-shirt. Well, let me ask you well, this. I like it, do, do you feel better? No, no, and I actually, that's the good thing about this. Mm. Okay, because I, I had this over there. I had my oxygen oh, yeah. over there. And Christine said, well, as you get done, you know, you need to get on your oxygen. I, I didn't need to. So really? it actually, and look, and I felt good after I'd done it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, that's worth doing. Well, no, no, yeah. it is. Just, just so now that. I'm going to do this five days a week. Wow. Work that's out. good. Because like, I'm going to go get rid of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm impressed. In the morning. Okay. And hey, plus I'm going to get my weight down to my fighting weight, about 160. There you go. <laughs> All right. So I got about five and a half pounds to go. 160. Well, I lost about green. 20 pounds. Yeah. Well, hey, Did you lose you? that Weight Watchers deal. Well, no, no. Hey, <laughs> no. Nah, he's on the slim Where slow. I've seen yeah. it. Well, hey, it's got a weight. barcode. I'm in the grocery store. I'm barcoding. and I'm zapping him. Thing tells me how many point stuff he's. Yeah, okay. Really? That's a good yeah, idea. You can eat all kind of crap. Overweight is dangerous. Okay. Oh, he's looking at me for and you, you when he's. Well, no, no, I'm just. He ain't looking you, at Stone. I'm just telling you, overweight is dangerous <laughs> yeah. for your heart. It's the silent oh, killer, yeah. sign. Well, oh, I'm not yeah. serious. It really is. Now, yeah. Okay. So, so <laughs> the the fact that it makes you feel feel better it's, it's, is, is I'll, worth I'll doing. It. It. I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited that Uncle Si is self motivated. I am too. I'm to planning on do, making do it. I'm planning on making it. He made a 180. I'm fixing to plan on making it to 100 years old. Don't forget, Sai, si, uh, these three guys, we saw you when you were when we were yeah. calling in the family. Well, no, <laughs> we're no, like, I know. Hey, y'all hey. need to get on over yeah, here, Sai. So ain't right. doing that's good. Why, yeah. That's why I said, 
I'm gonna make he's it back. Day, boys. <laughs> he's making it to it. No, he, what he's doing is he's getting himself ready for hunting season. Okay, All right. so. that's good. <laughs> so I'm he's proud 100, of you. I really he's one hundred percent correct. Okay, that's so, right. Hey, yo, know, number one, I want to kill that big old cat. We got, okay. <laughs> We may catch him. I may not have to kill I him. See, uh, Stone's a, going to have to kill him because he said he ain't coming up there close to the There's, He's got one, a, big, there's big a big cat. trap and a little trap. There's a what? big trap and a little trap. Little so, trap okay. for little Stone, cats. Yeah. Big no, no. trap for so, big cats. So, what we got Stone here? What we six, got, six, Jay? Right. What do we got here? All right. So, there have been some sightings on Phil's property. There's a, been a picture or two on the deer camera. Yeah, and I'm excited about it. So, <laughs> I got with my buddy over here at the feed mill. And I said, I need a trap big enough to catch a bear, <laughs> a big cat. Yep. Some, or, uh, he said, what kind of cat? A bobcat? I said, no, a mountain lion. That's right. Or mountain lion. Mex- or the Me- Mexican <laughs> jaguar. <laughs> Mexican jaguar. jaguar. So, yeah, so I had no idea <laughs> that they even made something this big and by the way phil paid for it he just yeah. don't know it he yet. don't know it yet he's gonna find out if he watches he's gonna find out. he wants to know well, he won't find out then miss k's gonna be calling me what is this miscellaneous yeah. on here it, it, if it's not oh, you know wd Ford, if it's not fer- fertilizer yeah. or millet you know he, he say, yeah. well, what it is looks this? pretty I, I it agree. looks pretty pricey Look, if he balks on you i'll pay for it okay <laughs> right, that's good that's good right, there it is, so we're gonna pay for the thing all right so what we have here is a genuine live trap for big animals now as you can see you have a big cage and a little cage yeah now the little cage attaches to the back of this big cage now you can put whatever you want in it i'm gonna go with a chicken okay chicken. i'm gonna go with a, a live yeah. chicken now you're gonna fish with live bait some people might say <laughs> poor little chicken you know you know what when i get done with him i'm gonna eat him Okay, if that makes you feel any better. So you put the chicken in the cage, atta- yep. in the little cage, attach the little cage to the big cage with a bobcat. Now, I'm going to say this too. Uncle Si has seen a panther, and the neighbor next door, he has claimed to He's seen a wolf. See a wolf, yeah. which okay. either a wolf, the way he put it was, either There's a some wolf. strange sightings. Or yeah. Yeah. strange people down there. Or the world record. Coyote. Or the world record coyote. Uh, or he so, may be a big dog. Or a, a big <laughs> husky. That's right. That's right. husky. So boys. you attach that cage here, put your chicken or whatever in it, and oh. you put this thing out. Oh, here we well, go. he says, I got to get to that he chicken. He got to get to the chicken. One way or the other. He's so he come in rounds. the trap. He's in the trap going he toward tries, the chicken. He tries the outside first, can't get in. He comes in. He puts his weight on this little deal right here. Uh-oh. Yeah. And then he backs out. That's right. Back out. Yeah. There he, he goes. Oh. So no. Here he goes. Oh, no. That, oh, no. That's my, I had to borrow a block. Is that going to hit this? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah. He had there a block. There we go again. There we go. I had, I had, I had the mechanism. Scoot it towards you, son. Yeah, there we go. It's going to hit this desk. I, I had the mechanism blocked off. Yeah. There. Okay. So he comes in and steps on this. Uh-oh. Man. Oh. He's, He's caught, boys. He caught. He's caught. He ain't getting out. He ain't getting out of that. And now that's even locks it where you can't pick right, it up yeah, and get it under. under. It won't, right. Yeah, that's it don't move. Pretty com- yeah. That's oh, thinking yeah. right there. And I asked Stone, I said, "What are you going to do when when how are you going to handle it when you get him? You know, to get him out? <laughs> Depends on what it is. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I mean, now, if it's somebody's dog, I'll I'll let him out and put him in the truck, take him back to the owner. But right. if it's a uh, a a panther. I'm calling wildlife and fisheries <laughs> and Uncle Si. There it is. <laughs> Uncle Si oh, first. <laughs> you've been vindicated, boys. Yeah, that's it. So we've, we've got proof. We fix to have some fun with this, that's and it. and y'all and we y'all can follow along on uh, Duck yeah. Commander's YouTube page, yeah. where our podcast that's used right. to be. See what we catch in this thing, and we will be giving updates that's on what we on, catch. On the big cat hunt. The big cat hunt. Wow. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, I'm, excited. I'm excited about this. I really am. Jay, are you going to put a camera up where you're going to have oh, the yeah. cage? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm going yeah. yeah. to put one of them yeah. cameras that, that'll come back yeah. to your cell phone. Yeah, because, hey, I and, don't know uh, if a, yeah. I don't know if the, the Jaguar is going to be dumb enough to come in there. Oh, he's going to no, want to get that check. Well, we, if he's we hungry, he may. Excuses. Well, no, no, I'm <laughs> just saying. No, no, excuses. I'm just telling you how slick they are, okay? Because, yeah. hey, look, I told you all about the scientists that hey, he, they had one picture of this small cat. Well, he set out 1,000 trail cams. 
this is in the Amazon jungle. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's true. Oh, yeah. Look, true. I'm saying this is a true story. I read this, okay? And it took well, him 12. No, no, break, you won't hold it. But it took him 12 years, but he got another picture of that cat. And mm -hmm. look, it was that night. Took him twelve years 12 with a thousand years. trail counts. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be a bet man. I'm gonna say it's gonna take one night to, to get a picture uh -oh. of something uh, trying yeah. to eat that chicken. Well, oh that's yeah. True. Oh, that's true. Uh, that's oh yeah. True. There's yeah. too many critters yeah. down yeah. there. That's a lot of critters. All right. Well, let's take a break. We'll be right back. So, have you ever heard Martin say "bam" to the b e e dot com? Yeah, I have. We're talking <laughs> HR, boy. We're talking HR. HR. Did you know that we have an HR department here at Duck Commander? I didn't know that. Don't bother that. Let me know. I didn't either. But we do. And it's run by B-A-M do the B-E-E, -E, which <laughs> makes it so easy for Martin. He is the general manager, you know. So when you're running a business, HR issues can be bad. Costly. And costly, that's right. Yep. You have lawsuits, wage requirements, labor regulations, HR manager salaries are not cheap, an average of 70000 a year. Good grief. That's average. So Bambi, spelled B-A-M-B-E-E, -E, was created specifically for small business. You can get a dedicated HR manager, craft HR policy, and maintain your compliance all for just $99 a month. Figure that up. What's that times 12? It's right. not 70,000. Yeah, it ain't mm -hmm. 70 grand. So with Bambi, you can change HR from your biggest liability to your biggest strength. Your dedicated HR manager is available by phone, email, or real-time chat. For onboarding determinations, they customize your policies to fit your business and help you manage your employees day-to-day, -day, all for just $99 a month. Month to month, no hidden fees, cancel any time. You didn't start your business because you wanted to spend time on HR compliance. Let Bambi help get your free HR audit today. So, how do you get it? You go to Bambi.com slash duck right now to schedule your free HR audit. That's Bambi.com slash duck, spelled B-A-M to the B-E-E dot -E com slash duck. Saved by the bell, boy, with Bambi. All right, so we're back. Did a little demonstration on the cage there. Demonstration, little it, demonstration. It's going to work. It'll uh, work. I'm, I'm fully confident in it. So the neighbor says we got a wolf. Uncle Si says we got a mountain lion. So <clears throat> now we're going to uh, now we're going to figure find out. We're gonna figure exactly out exactly what we got, what we got. and right. I and if I don't, if I remember correctly, Martin said that when we catch it, he will pay for the taxidermist to mount it. All right, remember that. That's important. Yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Martin's picking up the bill for having. And then mounted. he's gonna set it right here so That's Uncle Sai right. can look at it. That's right. <laughs> hey, Mexican Jaguar. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Right, stay tuned for that. We'll That's be right. uh, we're on <laughs> yeah. the hunt for the That's big right, cat. Boy, right. It's on the hunt. So, last time we had Miss Paula here, that was a treat. No, no, it was. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed yeah. her being here. Mm -hmm. Really was. Yeah. She's a good guest. I get to look at that every day. Every day. Uh, type, there you go. And she's very no even, knowledgeable hey, about we stuff. We even discussed, you know, how everybody met. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, which was very interesting. Yeah. I finally found out the truth how Nan and stone man yeah the okay. real the real story the real deal and also yeah. that me and mac millen were next door neighbors for okay what, yeah. what well, seven I years <laughs> everybody lived seven down years there. and i went to his house one time yeah everybody went down i told the wife there. i said that guy next door i don't know about him <laughs> <laughs> they over hey, you know having do said hey games. i never talked to the man he said he lived down there right yeah. on the same street but no but yeah, he him. left a buff now i remember when i built my house uh mac millen come up and he said hey you building a house here i'm like yeah he said if you don't mind leave a buffer of trees <laughs> in between me and you he's in there talking smack <laughs> you're building a house on your property i said he, he wanted because he, he didn't know what i was going to build you know so he, he didn't want to look at whatever i had going on so he said please leave a buffer of trees i said okay whatever all i remember is i didn't know jay but he he would catch a lot of fish apparently oh, because yeah. he'd be bringing in the fish and out there cleaning them a lot that's the way I was yeah. in, the, in the military. 
But and I can't. When I stayed, everybody would look. Tell me, good grief. Yeah, so that boy's catching tons of fish. We had Godwin and me Al, and Al. And Stone. And, yeah, and Stone. We all live right yeah. there. And we yeah. had the men's Bible group, and Cy yeah. would come over to it. Oh, yeah. 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 I think, Jay, you may have came over yeah. there once. Yeah, yeah. I did. Twice or whatever. Yeah. That's right. wild. Right yeah, there I didn't even know road. he knew Paula and John. Yeah. And then that's where he stayed for a while. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and that's how him you know and Nan the, fell in love. You, you were living know, with the, John and Paula? Yeah. You know the name of that road? Hold on. You, your address was there for <laughs> 10 years. Yeah. I know. Hold on. I got to think for a Uh-oh. second. What was John? I ain't telling you. If probably something you know, got love, hey, what's love got to do with it? Wellspring. Wellspring, yeah. Okay, hey. Wellspring. Wellspring. From the Wellspring. I Wellspring. got that. I named it. That's right. From that verse out of the Bible. Well, yep. I remember that. Um, we, that we had a dedication living, of the uh, land. Living yeah. water. Yeah. You're now, living water. Now, yeah. now, right next to us was Easy Street. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Man, I, I told people I didn't live on Easy Street, but I, I wasn't far from it. it wasn't yeah, far that's from right. It. <laughs> <laughs> that's where Fortenberry's lived down there at the end of Easy Street. That's right. At the very I guess, end. Of- I guess my street where I live was named Hard Knocks. <laughs> Hard Knocks. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely wasn't Easy Street, boys. Mm. So we, Uncle Si is, is, is on the exercise program. We're all set to catch the big cat. Hey. What else we got? Uh-uh. Where'd y'all, I want to know where y'all went this weekend. Did you get a new scope for one of your guns? Yes, I did. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We talked about that yeah. uh, the other day. Yeah, yeah. Y'all yeah. did? Yeah, so I got a new weapon. 308, uh, okay, 308, A-10. AR-10, in an AR-10, AR-10 platform. Yeah. Nice, custom built. Custom built. Nice. Okay, with nice optics weapon. and, co- okay, we actually filmed the the mounting of it. Oh, yeah. Getting everything lined out, everything straight. We do a little deal for tune-up, too. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 So, so yeah. it's a good Perfect. deal. But anyways. Uh, but we do have new guns, and I can't wait. That's why I can't wait. That's why I'm getting in shape, because yeah. I can't wait to deer season open up. I know. So, there's a lot of exciting things for you to get ready for. Oh, no, I know. It. I know. So. What's going on in the news? Is I don't, anything I, worth going on in the I news don't, to I, talk about? I don't look no. at the news ever. No. I try well, not to myself. Well, I, I try to, you know, I can't watch it on television. It no. makes me mad. Okay. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. Can't yeah. do it. So I need so, to start walking myself, talking yeah. about exercising. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Because I'm fixing yeah. to go up there to Wyoming. Ooh, deer hunting. There ain't no air up there. Oh, okay. Ain't no, yeah. ain't no, ain't no air, <laughs> boy. It's, uh, hey, it ain't like down here. No. It's yeah. Flatlander. He yeah. gets winded up there. But there was, when we got there last year, in the archery range, a mountain lion hmm. beside one of them targets. Well, I what, said, look uh, at there, Martin. If I shoot, are you going to go retrieve my arrows? He said, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, that's like <laughs> Mac no. Owens, where he, he lives. I think Colorado. He sees them all the time in his yard. Yeah. Them oh, things yeah. will stop. Yeah. It's like the song. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying, hey, there's big cats down here. The yeah. most. If you got hundreds he, of he, miles of timber, and I'm mainly talking about the pine tree, and we've got a lot of it in Louisiana. And look, I'm talking about you can't even walk through it until they bring in a logging crew and cut you some lanes. Otherwise, yeah. So you can't tell me what's out there in them woods. No, you yeah. can't see yeah. far. Yeah, yeah. No. You can't even walk. I tell it? you one thing: there's a lot of that I noticed during bow season is mosquitoes. Oh, mosquitoes. Yeah. Hey, he's like him dogs. Oh, about those ticks, are horrible. Ticks, fleas, and inside mosquitoes. And have to sleep with it. <laughs> Same thing Sound effects, you. boys. Ooh, they just. Well, you know, Louisiana's famous for their mosquito population, mm-hmm. and the further south you get, the bigger the mosquitoes yeah. get. Well, Texas ain't, yeah. ain't, you know, Texas, you know, y'all went over to uh, Houston for blue wing teal hunting and talking about y'all like to got carried off with the mosquitoes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We went to the Neshobe County Fair for my wife's birthday over the weekend. Say that 10 times. Where's that? Oh, Neshobe County. Oh, listen. and Over at Mississippi? Yep. They, How was it? It was awesome. The place where we went, yeah. um, they have a fair there every year and, and it runs for one week solid. And they have a midway and uh, all the rides set up. And there's different games and arts and crafts and rodeos and everything. It's all family oriented. Yeah. And so uh, we gave the chief a big, big box of calls and okay. stuff that okay. you had uh, and the letter that you wrote him. So yeah. uh, that was a great event. We loved being there. And the mosquitoes weren't too bad. 
Yeah. For some reason, maybe they maybe place. they sprayed or something. Yeah, that's a pretty place. I don't know. We went over there they when we was, bad, we was in Mississippi was for an oh, event. Yeah. So that's where Sai wanted to uh, learn how to play the drums, yeah. the bongo. Oh, no, no, no. That was, hey, them things are beautiful. Yeah. Handmade, okay? Indian drums, handmade, okay? They're made out of deer hide, okay, for the, for the, what actually in, in, you know, and leather. And you can actually, what was cool, I, you know, we got to fool with it. And he said, well, if you want a little softer, you know, just, you know, they got leather. Well, they just move it down the rope a little bit, make it softer. No, that's you on TV only. You could actually tune it. <laughs> Costs about three grand. Huh. I'm actually oh, thinking about not. buying one. I really am because it, it's a beautiful piece of uh, of actually, you know, they handmade it for kind of. I like, imagine that'd be yeah. a little easier to learn than the guitar. Absolutely. Oh no, it is because I ain't learned the guitar yet. <laughs> hey, but you've been songwriting. Did you tell well, Stone about? Well, no. Oh yeah. No. Well, Songwriting. Yeah, yeah. I am in the process of writing. Me and a buddy of mine. <laughs> Look at Jake's face. No, no. Of writing, it is a gospel song. And hey. Right. If we finish it and get it recorded, it will be a number one. Because <laughs> it's just that good. It's just yeah, that I, good, boy. I, keep if us, I had to keep us up myself. I keep us updated I, I, on I that. I hope you're right. Yeah. I'll, I'll be rooting for you. That's right. Well, anything about Jesus is good. That's yeah. right. That's the no right answer that. to everything. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Yeah. So, y'all got anything? That we can talk about today. I mean, we're we're reaching here. I mean, what what do y'all want to talk about? Nobody watches the news. Nobody watches. I don't watch. I've been watching <laughs> the Olympics. What is everything's bad? Yeah, it's it's hard. It's depressing. Yeah, you no, know, it is. It's depressing yeah. to watch yeah. the news. This Matter is of fact, just, hey, for the people to... watching the podcast, if you're involved in all this, <laughs> hey, write something good or show something good once in a while yeah. on the news. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's hard you know, to keep watching. Oh, he's right. It's you, depressing. It oh. is, but you know, we travel a lot speaking, and you probably see this too, Si. America's awesome, going all oh. over the place. Oh, no. Absolutely, that's the funnest yeah. thing that come out of the show. Well, I you think, know, was, pe- yeah. People don't have the right perspective on things. So, well, let's, let's dive into that after the break. Let's take a little break real That's quick. Right. Break. When they come in and yep. when we flooded, mm-hmm. and them boys come in there and marked off that sheetrock and cut sheetrock out and sprayed for that mm-hmm. mold and yep. tore carpet out. Oh, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And yep. quick. They did it quick. Si, and they you've could, had... Uh, of course, we was all volunteers, and they was telling us what to do, how to do it quick, and it was pretty amazing. Well, so. here's what I'll say about Samaritan Purse, okay? <clears throat> they are people, okay? They do not get paid a cent, okay? They show up, and they're here to do what Jesus did when he walked this earth. They're here to help those that need help, okay? Mm-hmm. Like you are talking about, John said, hey, he worked with them, Okay. When the flood hit, everybody's flood house was flooded. They'd go in, tear out the carpet, tear out sheetrock, okay, spray for mold, help them, and then move stuff in and out, repair it, okay. Samaritan Purse is a first-class operation, okay. It's God's people, okay, representing Jesus here on earth and doing what needs to be done to help those that are in need. That's right. right. And you know, Cy, something that's that's close to your heart, I know, this summer, Samaritan's Purse is focused on Operation Heal Our Patriots, mm. yep. which is a Our ministry veterans. to mm. help injured veterans and their spouses. Yep. So yep. That, that's, I mean, that, I know that, that's it's real It's a first-class operation, dear to your man. And if they're yeah, helping our vets, hey, I'm, you know, Yep, they're they're solid. Samaritan's yep. Purse is an international relief organization with a commitment to love and help people all across the globe in times of crisis, and to do it all in the name of Jesus Christ. Yep. Samaritan's Purse rushes in to help victims from flood, tornadoes, and other disasters in the U.S. and around the world. They also provide medical care, clean water, children's heart surgeries, and other life changing aid. We all have the opportunity to be like the Good Samaritan. By showing the love of Christ to those around us, sharing the gospel, and being the hands and feet of, of Jesus. Jesus. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. you know, first class operation, guys. Always mm-hmm. are. So, 
If you want to get involved, here's what you do. You go to SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to find out how you can get involved with this ministry. Trust me, there are great testimonies of what God is doing and opportunities to get involved. Again, that's SamaritansPurse.org slash duck to learn more. SamaritansPurse.org slash duck or click the link in the show notes. There are people who walk the walk and talk the talk, boys. Side, you like my shirt? Yeah, I do. Number one has got Jesus on it, and he's got the devil by you know chokehold, boys. Well, he's got him chokehold. Yeah. It says Jesus has your back. That's right, boys. Hey, and once you get them in in jujitsu, if you get them in the back, hey, they're going down. <laughs> but hey, look, John made a good point a while ago. Okay, about when we go out, look, guys, you know, if you listen to your local news, okay. The media, they all they ever report is bad stuff, so it, it'll give you a negative view of America. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, fail. America's still the greatest country in the world. It is. Amen. Okay? And look, you know, and there's still a lot of good people out there, mm-hmm. okay? People that are doing good things for other people. Way more yeah. good than yeah. bad. Than bad. Absolutely. Okay. Now, but, that's not being reported. I say it but, uh, it's right. not being reported. That's the bad thing, okay? Yeah. So, hey. You know, because when we're out, like John said, everywhere we go, there's good people helping other people that need help. That's okay? right. And that's that's what America has always been about, especially the, the greatest generation ever, which was my father's generation. Hmm. Okay. Because, and I'm going to tell you why they was the greatest generation. Okay. They, there's only really two commandments God gives the human race. That's to love him with all your strength, mind and body and soul, okay? And then go horizontal and love your neighbor as yourself. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing why my dad and his people were the greater generation. They lived that daily. Hmm. That sums up the Ten Commandments. Yeah, I'm serious. They really did. That greater generation really did. They lived them two principles to the max. That's that's just the way they were, yep. for crying out loud. They were always prepared to serve and work extremely hard. No, no. Which are not. Which is not even mm-hmm. <laughs> in okay, the human yeah, race's yeah. vocabulary today, yeah, I sure heart, sadly it's, to it's, say. This is a lot about or pers- being loyal, yeah. Yeah. Being yeah. loyal yeah. to something. Yeah. 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 No. But it's still the greatest country in the world, oh, boys. Well, America you got, is. You know, million people trying to trying to get here yep, yep. why are they trying to get here I because hey, it's still the greatest, greatest country, country in the world. Well, yeah. yeah even today you know in in, in the media is the reason why I'll, i'm not the only person a lot of people have quit watching the news quit watching sports because mm-hmm. it's divisive it's uncomfortable and they used to have a say in the media uh sex sales well nowadays it's fear sales yeah. so everything you see is r- racist is divisive they're in s- trying to dividing and conquering get okay. you scared so i you know i just had a gut full of it so yep. i just you yep. know i can't i can't even look at it yep. anymore i'm the same way and jesus said you'll know my people by their love one for, for each of other mm-hmm. yeah. for each other i mean that's yeah. That's what we're about. I, I I hate to listen to a bunch of divisive stuff, and and really, I mean, it 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 almost tries to snuff your joy out, John. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And the oh, sad part will. is, you know, our kids are are looking at that. You know, with the, with everything so easy to look at these days with the cell phones, and it's rather tip your fingers. And uh, I hate to say it, but uh, the evil one is is behind ninety percent of it. That's right. And uh, it's 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 tough. It's Absolutely. tough for kids these days. Listen, if you if you if you have kids and you're not familiar with your uh, cell phones and social media and stuff like that, I mean, when it first came out, I really didn't know that much about it. But what we started doing once we heard enough bad stuff is yep. we took everybody's phone when they got home. You're talking about the children's home, right? Well, yeah. Well, that and my own home. Okay. We put we made everybody put their phones on the bar, and if they needed to use them in the evening, they come in there and sit at the bar and use it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We had to make some rules because these were things that me and my wife weren't familiar with. 
And yeah. and at the home where I work, we stopped them all together. No, no Wi-Fi, no social media. Well, here's the bad thing about what you're difficult. saying. It's, okay, it's impossible. Is, is that no one used when they invented the cell phone? It was invented for a good purpose. If your wife was on the road and the car broke down, she could call somebody to come yeah. and help her. Okay, but now nobody says hello. They don't talk on the phone anymore. <laughs> no, you're right. You're it's right. become a computer. It's a yeah. typewriter. They text That's each it. other from yeah. right now. The art of communication is going to the dogs. Absolutely. That's I'm why a, divorce rates are up. All this stuff. So okay? let me tell you what we did this weekend. We left our phones at the hotel, you know, where we stayed yeah. at the, uh, whatever the name of the place yeah. was, the moon or whatever it is, the one we yeah. stayed at. Yeah. We left our phones, and the whole weekend, we didn't fool with our phones. We didn't look at we. And you we were just miss together, it. and it was different because we had to talk to each other, you <laughs> yeah. know. And you didn't you miss go. it. And I liked it, yeah. Yeah. just yeah. like a couple that uh, when we went to see Brooks and Dunn, you know, uh, was it Ronnie, Ronnie that was telling you? Yeah, he was like he, him and his wife are in the same room texting each other, so they ain't got to talk. Hey, oh. They're sitting <laughs> on the same couch for crying out loud. Good grief! And and I said, Ronnie, they're getting a divorce. Okay, and I said, Ronnie. Did you ever think that may be the reason you're getting a divorce is because you're sitting on one end of the couch, she's on the other, and you're not talking to each other. You're texting on your phones, for crying out loud. I remember we'd go eat. Remember we'd go eat lunch, and everybody set their phone in the middle, and whoever answered had to pay for lunch. There you go. That's a good one. <laughs> that is a good one. That way so you we'd, may, hey, we'd talk to each other. You hey, know? look, at, I'm going, we're going negative. Hey. They told me before we started this, we got a lot of good questions from the fans. Yeah. Let's get into that. Let's but let me what, just let's say, before, before we move on, Si, you wouldn't have been a good ladies' man if all you could do is have to send, oh, yeah. send oh, text no. to, no, to no, people. No. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, you got to be hands-on when you're with the women, boy. <laughs> hands-on. <laughs> you got to be involved is what I'm trying to tell you. Well, that's okay. right. That's uh, what we're talking about. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm curious, you know, and and I've heard stories that, you know, Si was quite the ladies' man. I heard those uh, back stories. In the, back in the day. So, Si, what was your number one go-to pickup line? Oh, I when, can't when wait. You, I can't wait to hear When this. you approached a woman. Well, it it wasn't a pickup line. Uh oh. Okay. No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a fact. What it did, was, did no, no. Heaven lose what an it angel? was, okay, look, is ever lady I ever dated, okay, we always had a good time and we laughed a lot. Oh, I'm sure you laughed. Okay. No, no, I'm serious. Okay. I am too. Because most people, you know, they don't know how to have fun anymore. I'm serious. Y'all, if you take yourself too seriously, okay, number one, you're going to be mad a lot because you're going to do stupid stuff, and it's going to make you mad, and you're going to go around and be a sourpuss all your life. So, hey, don't take yourself too seriously, okay? Lighten up. Lighten up, you know. You're a human being. You're going to make mistakes. Hey, learn to laugh at something that you've done that was stupid instead of getting angry. And then for two days, you're biting everybody's head off. <laughs> biting a ten-penny <laughs> nail into Oh, yeah. 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 So, so yeah. you would have a joke for waiting for her. Is that, is that what well, you're like, saying? Well, we just had fun, okay? No matter what we did. Did you go to the roller skating rink? Hey, whatever, you know. And, <laughs> well, hey, I, yeah. I was uh, about, you know. If, you know, no, I don't even want to go there. I was so bad, I stayed on the floor. Roller skating. <laughs> oh, roller skating? Yeah. And I was just beat up. I felt like I'd been beat over and run over all night long. Well, see, Si, we're from the old school. Yeah. We're, we're all included. We're telling our yeah. age now, the yeah. roller skating. Well, they still got them. Though. Not only that, but, but we, we have to communicate with people face-to-face -face and talk to them. Social media has made people where they're not very good socially. It's they're socially mm. awkward oh, oh, when it's it going, comes it's, to real life. It's a lost yeah. art. Communication is becoming, a, it's going to go like the dodo bird. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you know, dodo bird. It's becoming extinct, in other words. Okay? <laughs> you know, you know, so, girly. you know, just, hey. You know, but it was, that was the main reason that, you know, me and the ladies had fun when we was out. We laughed a lot, had a good time. I didn't have any good pickup line, Stone. Yeah. I, well, I, I guess I didn't either. One. Okay, no. yeah. 
Mm-hmm. I did make them laugh. Yeah. I mean, and right. really, I just been with one for about thirty two years. But there was a few before that. I, <laughs> well, and I've I been, would make them laugh. Yeah, I've been with mine for fifty. Oh, good great. Hey, hey, that's a feat, boys. Let me tell you. Good for you and rough on her. <laughs> that's that's it. It. Hey, oh no. Hey, hey, I kept her laughing for all those fifty oh, years. Yeah. Okay. She's still laughing. Yeah, she's she still, still laughing. laughing. As soon that's as he right. walks in the door, she that's starts right. laughing. That's right. She starts laughing. Hey, Jay, what, what, what is it? When he was at the hospital, <laughs> what happened when y'all walked in? Uh, oh, oh, when I brought him over to the yeah. hospital. Christine was she was scared and nervous. You know, you remember. So I brought him home and she's standing at the door, has got her arms open. She says, Welcome home, Si. He looked at her and said, Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. He I'm sat out on the couch, turned on Matt Dillon. So yep. and size right, we do have a couple of good emails yep. we'll get into as soon as we come back from this break. Uh, break, break. You know, John, we, uh, I need to quit saying John. I just need to say Godwin. Everybody knows Godwin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Know, don't there's a lot of Johns either. around. There's, only, there's only one Godwin. You know, Godwin, this year we we partnered up with Tetra. Yeah. And uh, they they make hearing protection for hunters specifically. Specific. Yeah. Specifically for hunters. It allows you to hear your duck call. Mm-hmm to talk and you know the thing about duck hunting what makes it so fun is is the banter between oh, yeah. friends during the hunt whether it could you could be poking to somebody or right. complimenting somebody so but that's what makes duck hunting fun the communication so but you need to protect your ears you know waterfowlers haven't had a great options for hearing protection phone plugs muffle all of the sounds so you can't hear your calling like we were talking about yep. talking with your buddies yep. and ear muffs are hot and bulky and they also have the same problems you can't hear anything and it's why only one in five waterfowlers wear hearing protection so it's time for a change here's why new research shows moderate hearing damage increases the risk of alzheimer's and dementia by three times you can damage your hearing forever in as little as 15 minutes of shooting ducks unprotected that's scary because i've I've shot ducks for hours yeah, yeah. without hearing protection. <laughs> yeah. So I used to too. The good news is that the hearing doctors at Tetra have developed Alpha Shield, a new premium hearing protection product that reduces gun blasts and loud calling to safe levels while allowing you to hear your calls, talk to your buddies, and hear those whistling wings we all live for. There's nothing quite like the wings before no, daylight. Not. So <laughs> With Tetra, you make no sacrifices. That's why we wear Tetra Alpha Shield. They work. Don't kill your future just to kill ducks. Visit tetrahearing.com for more. That's T-E-T-R-A hearing.com and use code DUCK15 at checkout. That's DUCK15 at checkout to get 15% off. All right. Welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Welcome back. Y'all ready to get into this email bag? Might as well. Let's see what's in the, in the, in the email bag. All right. So, we have this question is for Godwin. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're up first, Godwin. This is Hunter from Texas. Mm-hmm. Hey, we got a Hunter from Louisiana. We do. Oh, yeah. That boy, he works for us. Yep. And he plays golf too. That's right. He claims he ain't very he, good. He's, he's he's you and him got a little bit in common. We ain't no good. He at claims it. to have hit. Uh, <laughs> well, that you got that, and uh, he oh, also claimed to hit a three hundred yard drive. Well, hey, there you go. Which is <laughs> phys- good work, Hunter. Physically, I can hit one too with a with a gun. Yeah, you drive it out there, and I'll shoot it for him. I don't care how si, for that's him, actually fun. For him and Si, it's <laughs> yeah. physically impossible. No, so. Hey, look, I did it, okay? I don't care what Jason Roberts 300 said. yards? 300 yards. Now, wait, I no, was there. No. He was there. I will attest to it. Hey, I saw the whole thing. 300 yards. It I really did. the ground, not rolling. It was unbelievable. It it's a one-in-a-lifetime hit. Oh, it is. And he he did it just to be funny, and he was like, because I said, 
So I just barely hit it down the middle because yeah. you know, everybody else was in the He's woods. Like, no, nah, I'm going for yeah. it. Everybody was asking <laughs> in the woods. Yeah, that sounds like so. so. They walk up to this golf ball and and stand behind it, and everybody hold, holds up three fingers, <laughs> yes. and somehow that's proof. <laughs> yeah, that, that's proof that, that he hit a 300 yard drive. <laughs> hey, I had three other people that said three hondos, boys. Three one, foot. one was three the chief. Foot. And one yeah. was a chief, okay? Yeah, one hey. was bona fide. Chiefs don't lie, boy. Chiefs great. don't lie. But anyway, Hunter from Texas uh, wants Godwin to give him some bull riding advice as he is just starting out. He loves the podcast and really hopes that Godwin could give him some advice. I'll wait mm. till after yeah. you're done. I've got the <laughs> best advice yeah. for him there is. I'll tell you, just like <laughs> a good buddy of mine told his mama, uh, he got stepped on, collapsed lungs, mm. and in, in the intensive care. And uh, they got up there, and I told her he's all right. He don't look real good. He's hooked up to a bunch of stuff. And um, she walked in there, and she says, "Oh, I hope you learned something from this." And he picked his free arm up, and he said, "Yes, ma'am." I need to get over that front end just a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> That's the advice. But, uh, okay. Stay over that front end. No, uh, you're just going to have to get on a hundred of them to get good. You know, just keep getting on them. Go go to them jackpots and and uh, hang around people that win a lot and stay on them and ask questions and just, just keep getting on them. You got to get on them to learn. And Practice hey, makes perfect. Hey, there ain't and, much you can do. You know, and you, you got to be tough as boot leather, okay? Yeah. Because, hey, but here's my advice to you. This is the best advice, okay? <laughs> Here we go. You get you a very young yearling, okay? <laughs> you know, maybe, what, three days old? That's right. And, hey, then you may be able to ride him. Otherwise, hey, don't even do it. <laughs> These days, <laughs> that PBR, these days, they breed them. They breed them. Oh, the yeah. Buck. For mean to and be, and they mean. know just how hard they got a buck to throw you off. If they feel you slipping on the side more away, they'll they'll get you in there. So uh, you just got to keep getting on. You I ain't the, gonna see nothing about the first, I don't know, thirty, forty bulls. You ain't gonna see nothing. <laughs> but the, after that, you'll get your vision and keep looking down between his shoulders mm. and. Monkey up on him. Yep. Hey, you got to find that sweet down. spot. You got to find that They'll sweet spot. What? What'd you and say? Stay there. You monkey say up on him. Monkey up on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. That's not getting a good hold. Squeeze yeah. with your knees. Stick your chest out. Got to have that sweet spot. And stay buck, there. Those that buck real good and try to jerk you down, you can't grab a hold of them. Do you get stronger with your legs and knees to squeeze with, or do you have to exercise and work out to do that? Well, back then, I didn't exercise nothing. Them boys work out now because they getting on stuff now that show enough. Yeah, 2,000 try pounds. You. They'll try you. 2,000 pounds? Of course, they're making a lot more money now yeah. than what I did. Of course, I was just local, you know. Well, that was Hunter. So, Hunter, I guess your advice is... Just keep getting on them. <laughs> keep you getting on them. Get on Get on monkey Get up. after it and monkey, monkey, up. monkey up. up. Stay monkey. over that money. <laughs> yeah, them bull riders hey, know what I'm just keep about. getting, oh, Just yeah. keep getting up and knocking the dirt off yeah. of you and talking yeah. about, all right, where's the next well, you one? Know, Bring them on. To me, Take that chest out. You know, I, I, Push and pull. I've known Godwin for a long time. <laughs> We're talking about 20 years. All right? and I remember when I first met Godwin, he was about, what, about 175. Yeah. And and when you say in your bull riding days, how much do you weigh? I was one seventy. One seventy. One seventy five, right there. And, and pe- some people don't know this, but he also raced motocross. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dirt bikes. I started racing motocross when I was about eight years old. Dirt Race. bike man. Yeah. He's a he's that a thrill fun. seeker, so well, no, no, oh, yeah. no, no. What he is is a dirt oh, man. You ain't never he's been a dirt man. You ain't okay. You ain't never been he in the won, boat with him. He done it on the bikes first, <laughs> and then he got into it and done it on the bulls. I don't like riding Dang. in the Dang, <laughs> this thing going in. I, I don't like riding in a boat with him. It scares me. I don't like. Yeah. I mean, he likes to go fast yeah. everywhere he goes. Yeah, boy, hey. it's, it's a thrill seeker. 
Yeah. Thrill seeker. Hey, he loves the dirt. So what, what, was your, the what was your nickname when you were ra- racing? Super fly, super fly. Super fly. I thought yeah. it was the flying flea. Flying flea. Oh, yeah. the flying flea, boy. Yeah. Hey, I love it. I <laughs> love it. You need a t shirt that says like, the flying like flea. It. That's right. I in like, other words, you stayed in there a lot on that dirt. A lot. Bike. Somebody make God with a fly. I like, I uh, like to fly. Somebody make God with a flying flea t shirt. Yeah. Double X or. With a wet, with a with a white goatee. <laughs> oh, he's got a hey, white goatee. Y'all just remind my wife told me today in the news. Hey, they're flying. They're making flying cars nowadays. Are you serious? Flying I'm cars. Serious. That's what she told me. I don't believe that, that was a cartoon she was watching. No, what she a was cartoon. watching the Jetsons. She was there saying, you go. No, 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 look, she's in, yeah. had on her computer, okay, in her cell phone, looking at stuff, and it was something in about flying cars. Okay, I'm telling you. Look, we see in the movies all the time. That's flying carpets, I No, yeah. flying cars, too. You, you need to tell Christine okay. to get off of Facebook. Well, hey, look, I'm just telling you, hey, the girl <laughs> yeah. stays on the computer. The okay? book of faces, that's what Paul is called. The book of faces. So a oh, lot no. of people, a lot of our audience that's listening, they don't know, but Cy has been to the Grand Ole Opry, what, three times? Yeah, three times. Wow. And, and sang at the Grand Ole Opry yep. a couple times. I sang, I said, on, I sang I said, on Sunday morning in version, a gospel song. Hmm. Yeah. I sat in a seat. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Well, I you- actually sat in the circle. Okay, which is yeah. about an eight foot circle that they the brought from the state. old. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. Re- look, and what I did is I said, "I'm not being disrespectful," and I put my hands down in the circle, and I said, "Just let some of the talent, just a little bit, of all <laughs> the people that have stood here there singing, no telling." He's ooze in this body of mine. <laughs> yeah. And the Almighty said, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> no. I, I, I was waiting for that. It's like Paul I with t- that thorn in his side. I said it, him, I set him up because I knew he was going to come and tell me. And the, uh, and the good Lord looked down and said, uh uh-uh. uh. Not today, nope. boy. Nope. Hey, yeah, me and Paolo went and watched it one night. Oh, it was on, and we got to sit in the. That was pretty nostalgic. See that little circle up there? Oh, no. There was a lady sitting in front of us, and she turned around, and she said, she poked that other lady. She said, I think that's John Godwin from Duck Dynasty. And the other lady said, no, nah, that ain't him. I was there last week. We got one more email we need to get okay, into right. right after the break. All right. Hey, but oh, Sal's beard, got, have you noticed how good it know, looks now that it's trimmed? Yeah, it's trimmed. I used to be on the Who trimmed it? Uh, he got it trimmed in Oklahoma. Yeah. Oh, you got a beard trim in Oklahoma? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, she actually cut my hair a little bit and yep. beard trim. Yep. Uh, hmm. You know, at a spa. At huh. what, uh, X, you went to a spa? XL. XL, yeah. yeah. The XL spa. The hmm. XL spa. Yep. XL spa. <laughs> so when's the last time you got a haircut? When I got out of the Army. <laughs> no no i'm serious the last time i had to cut my hair was when i was in the military and that was in 1993 you just let it go now Wipe hey, it off and i retired and hey i ain't touched it since and that woman done it the other day for just a little bit in oklahoma hmm. and i told her i said hey don't get carried away because <laughs> if you do yeah. you're gonna have to give me yep. about five hondos yeah you'll freeze to death uh, they cut that air off you cut I that said, hey. it off you give me five yeah. that's right you're gonna have to pay me five <laughs> she, hondos what she said was side do you want me to clip that tail for you he said hey leave that tail alone right, yeah, like, yeah. Old, like old snail picker said hey boy watch that knife <laughs> 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 There's some somebody else that I know who also has not had a haircut in 30 years. Bill the, PR? The same guy who watches oh. the same TV the shows that side does. <laughs> Let me hey, tell you why we watch that. Phil has not gotten a haircut in 30 years. I don't I know he colors his beard during duck season for one reason. To look good for the no, TV? No. no, no. <laughs> we'll flare duck. Right. He's always telling us, hey, Johnny Goblin's flares them, I yeah. flare them. Yep. And hey, White I don't beards. never flare duck. White beards. That's I mean, the flea fa- flare. I, I, the I flea never flare, flare them. Yeah. So okay. he, he gets, Jace gets these, uh, um, what, what's that stuff called that, <laughs> that hangs on the cypress trees? Uh, moss. Spanish moss. Spanish moss. Spanish moss. Sp- yeah. he, so Jace goes around gathering up the Spanish moss and puts it on duck and puts blind. it all over the duck blind because it resembles hey. size beard hey. and Phil's beard. 
Well, not so, only is that, then Jason Robertson always, okay, I got to take a chainsaw to cut me a little hole where I oh, stand. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. Jason Robertson puts a tree on top of where I stand. Right. They they try okay. to keep him from killing yeah. those ducks. And then when you look when you look on, on Jason's end and on Phil Robertson's end, guess what? They ain't a stick of brush it's on wide open. Wide ball open area. And then they always tell me, Who flared the duck? And I said, Hey, you need to have a mirror, both of you, and look in the mirror. And then I'll tell you who flared the duck. Uh, there is a lot of truth to what he's saying. Uh, I want to. Know, I want to know how much truth it is to it. Oh, so, okay. Now, let's let's talk about this other like? email. We yeah. got we got one more email. I think we one, we can boys. get some mileage yeah. off of. Oh, so mileage. Eric from Washington uh, says he is on the West Coast. 1 a.m. bailing alfalfa listening to the duck call room. Oh, good. Nice. All right. Thank you for keeping me awake. Uh, working you're welcome, man. Eric. And yeah, working man. So he has a story back in college. He had a boat, went fish, hang out with his friends on the boat. But the boat always broke down. He said 90% of the time the boat would not make it back to the boat ramp. They had to row it back or got towed back. He wants to know if we have any stories about Boat breakdowns. Well, let me start this off. And I got one after you for right, sure. Let me, let me start oh. this off. First yeah. of all, okay, you didn't spend enough research on the boat you bought, okay, because it sounds <laughs> like you bought a piece of junk, okay? So next time, do a little more research before you pay for the boat, yeah. and then you won't be breaking down as often. Yeah. They're all going to break down, but not as often. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So well, I'm, I'm, I'm in that club, too. I got an outboard that keeps breaking down on me. But you got a good outboard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it cranks back up, but it yeah. keeps shutting up. Anyway, it's aggravating. I ain't going to talk about it. Back so back I problem. got a good story. Uncle Si loves to drive the boat. Okay. We used to hunt down the creek oh, back yeah. in the day. And well, in the creek, there's a lot of stumps. But everybody knows where those stumps are because we have <laughs> navigated that creek on multiple occasions. Okay, but one one is either Phil or Jace running the boat. Nobody else. They Never know sigh. where the stumps mm-hmm. are. Never sigh. So Phil gets a brand new motor, puts it on the boat. So I said, let me see what this thing, he, he wants to run the boat on the way back. And Phil said, all right, go ahead. And he finally gave in. Side takes off down the creek. Well, guess what? Bam! <laughs> Everything comes to a stop. Lower unit sinks to the bottom of the creek. Hey, piece of junk. So <laughs> Phil said, "Piece of junk." Phil is said, "Sai." He said, "I told you not. You didn't know where you were going." And inside, you know what Sai's response was? No. He said, "Hey." That stump wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they ain't gone up to it. <laughs> no. no, sir. So, so me and my brother, my older brother, we were we were hunting ducks since I got kicked out of the duck blind. I can never go back. With that's right. You don't ever raise up and shoot yeah, on right. your own. I, no. You got to wait for the. There's a ban list, and I'm on it. I said, "Sir, we best buddies. Can't you get me back in?" And he was like, "No, no, you're no. gone forever. If you raise up and fire into a bunch of hundred yeah. tail. You ain't coming back." Anyway, no. so me and my brother, we we're out at Wham. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wham, break, boys. Because yeah, that's where you go when you got nowhere else to go. Right. You got to fight yeah. everybody. But anyway, we're riding back in after the hunt, and something's wrong with the motor. And so Danny says, Philip, come back here and put your finger right here and hold it. He said, yeah. don't let your finger off of it. But the problem <laughs> was, John, that it was freezing cold. So I kept it on there for about 10 minutes going, I'm having to look this way. We're going that way. Right. And so I was like, I just got to warm my finger up just for a second. I took my finger off of it. And it went dead, and we stayed out there five hours before somebody picked us up. Oh, you told you not to take yeah. your finger off. Right? I said, next time you might want to say, don't take your finger off or we'll be stranded for five hours. And then I would have sucked <laughs> yeah. it up and kept it on there. Hey, there you go. Oh, man. Now, he, you didn't understand the repercussions of the situation. <laughs> that's right. exactly that's right. right. He didn't understand the situation. Yeah. The severity, seriousness. Yep. That's though. it. All right, guy, what do you got? Well, I remember one time <laughs> it was me. And W.E. Uh-oh. <laughs> and one Jeff Smith. And Jeff Smith. So we're in this ditch. It's down by the, by the lodge. It's a ditch. Rice field on one side, little levee. And the lights wouldn't work on the boat. And so W.E. says, there ain't but one tree on this levee. <laughs> and I know where it's at. And, he, and it's foggy. 
and we take off. All we got is headlamps. We can't see squat. No. no and he fine. takes off I, wide, I like wide open. open. Oh, I yeah. Said, yeah. He said, if you're scared, say you're scared. Yeah. I said, I am scared. I'm yeah. afraid Jeff you're dead. Said he's yeah. scared. Yeah. And yeah. no sooner did I get that out, uh, we went through that willow tree. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bam. And back knocked Jeff out of the boat. I'm sitting in the middle. <laughs> W.E.'s in the back. And he's laid down. His head's in the water. He's laid back, wallering, trying to get back up. <laughs> And uh, Waller, Wallerin's said, a good word. He yep. said, yeah. "Oh yeah, Woo, we better not do that no more." Yeah. I said, "You think <laughs> you almost yeah. killed me?" Yeah. And he really did. But he said, "If you're scared, and the, you're scared." And the belt broke on the thing, and we had they had to pile it back. I walked down the levee. I made them. He had to push pole it mm. all the way back to the cupboard where we put in a long way. Yeah, that was good for him. Yeah, if you're tired, say yeah. you're tired. Yeah, well, he was tired. I can yeah. guarantee you that. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Great. Well. The best one I've ever been involved in, okay, and it didn't hit, he didn't hit nothing. <clears throat> but it's just amazing that he's got that, he's got, Phil's got a photostatic memory. He's got a sixth sense. Okay. Look, <clears throat> we would leave the house. <laughs> we would leave the house at, at the boathouse in the motors. 20 horse murky on a 14 foot deer craft. Okay. Wide open, no lights. He had run Cypress Creek wide open. Yeah, I was in there that morning. Okay, and I'm looking as we go by him. He's missing cypress stump this big around. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm talking about six inches or less. Just, you know. In the he can run dark. that. Just he can run that. Yeah. Back and forth. He can run that whole creek all the way up to Second Slough. Going in there and there's stumps everywhere, mm -hmm. and never hit nothing. Yeah, yeah. In the dark, and I'm going, cow. We're lucky we ain't dead. I know. Remember when he let off the gas and come down oh, off no. of it? We bumped one. Oh yeah. no. He said, "Well, that's pretty good." One <laughs> he stump. said, "Yeah." He said, "I hit I one." I ain't run this thing in twelve yeah. years. What about yeah. the time, uh, Jay? Didn't you have to hold, catch the boater before it went down and sunk in the water? When Phil, well, was well, yeah, we've talked about oh, that. That's oh, when yeah. Phil oh. sunk the whole boat. Oh, the yeah. whole boat. Yeah, we've talked yeah. about that numerous times. Breaking cases. ice. Well, Uncle Si, it's about that time you got a Bible verse. All right, for boys, us. here's the deal. I always tell you, as far as this concerns me in the morning when I get up, I put this in my mind. Okay, today I'm gonna be good, and I'm gonna treat everybody I run into right. Okay, now I'm gonna go to Proverbs chapter nine. And see what the Almighty has to say about that. Let's see where we start here. Okay. Instruct a wise man, verse 9. Chapter 9, verse 9 of Proverbs. Instruct a wise man, and he will be wiser still. Teach, us a, teach a righteous man, and he will add to his learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. For through me, your days will be many, and your years and years will be added to your life. If you are wise, your wisdom will reward you. Hmm. So, oh, hey, man. if oh. you try to be good and just do what is right, the Almighty has said, hey, I will add years to your life. That's pretty good incentive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that will be your reward. I will give you extra years, which yeah. hey, pretty cool when you ask me. Oh, yeah. And we'll leave y'all with that thought, All okay? Right. As far as it is, up to you. Always be good and treat people right. Mm. And the Almighty will look down on you and smile on you and add who knows how many years to your life? Boy, if everybody did that, the world would be a we lot a better place. We a lot better place to live. Never That's ain't. exactly yep. right. The news would be positive. Yep. Good verse, Tom. All right. See y'all next uh, week. <laughs>